All right, who wants to have a tactical discussion? Tough shit, I do. All right, most people in the world don't know what it's like to move or be on the move with a semi-automatic rifle or what some would like to term as a long gun. And that's a fact that is being exploited in the media right now. They're quite literally taking advantage of people who just don't know. It's not as simple as just grabbing a few bullets, sticking them in your pocket, and saying, away I go. You have to have them preloaded in something like this. And in an AK, if you're using 762 ammunition, the more rounds you have in a clip, the more the, of a curve there is to that particular clip. And supposedly, at least one of these gunmen was using 30 round clips. Meaning, there's a significant arc in the clips that are being used, which makes them extremely hard to carry on the move. You don't just stick them in your pocket. And if you do, for most pants, the clips are too long. They're going to stick out in one way or another. Or in the case of a pair of cargo pants, you are going to have the most Dudley Do-Right looking pants on that you can possibly imagine. Something that the so-called surveillance pictures of the incident in Texas don't show at all. Now let's take into account the weight of a fully loaded clip. This is a 20 round magazine and it weighs approximately three and a half pounds. Put another 10 bullets in it plus the weight of the casing, you have four pounds easily. That's why in the military they have something called web gear. So you can efficiently carry your ammunition without it weighing you down too much or wrecking your mobility. Now, just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to use the old shotgun here. The guy walks into wherever with a fully loaded AK with, at a minimum, two four pound clips in either one of his pants pockets. That means you have to be able to move efficiently with all of this weight hanging off of your legs set up a shot take it on a moving target or on moving targets and score ahead now according to the numbers this guy must have been a hell of a shot because if you use the three clip analogy that's 90 rounds shooting at moving targets while you're moving yourself there are guys who are proficient with automatic weapons that are lucky if they could shoot that well in that environment alright let's go a step further and then to enter that shooting environment with eye protection on and earplugs. Eye protection might make a little bit of sense, but if you're out on what most would consider to be a suicide mission, earplugs are total overkill. Besides the fact that you're at a tactical disadvantage with earplugs in, in case somebody's trying to rush your position. 
multiple shooters seems much more plausible especially given some of the eyewitness accounts saying there were at least three or four gunmen something isn't adding up here and the narrative that's being pushed around censorship and the exposure or potential exposure of the deep state makes it stink that much more it should be fairly obvious to anybody paying attention at this point that these people who have whatever it is they're trying to hide could give a shit about us and our safety and that's why they're promoting what they're promoting and they're doing what they're doing I'm not saying this didn't happen, but the tactics do not match the outcome. Therefore, that makes it highly suspect. Take care.